What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book and title, Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father. Amazon Kindle Create Space. Why it's hard to take her back. I'm not necessarily talking, I'm not really talking about exes when I'm saying this. I'm talking about when you hear the brothers on the internet talking about, you know, now she wants a good guy. And this is for the men and the women, but the women need to hear this especially. Why brothers are not taking y'all back is because it's not... Her, it's not completely that you were dating guys you shouldn't have been dating when you were younger or dumber or you just or that was your moral compass that's that's who you were and that's a reflection of you and now that you grow out of that you know it's different it's not that what it is is if you were treating a guy um a certain if you were treating the wrong guys right and the right guy is wrong. These guys have, have, have been down that road before where, you know, I want to, you know what? I want to be with a guy like you and maybe we can work something out. The problem with that statement is I think a lot of, a lot of you ladies don't understand that guys have tried that to only to realize that most of you women revert right back into the same process. So, if you were selfish with with the right with if you were selfish with the right guy and selfless with the wrong guy, when you go back to the right guy, you wind up being selfish again. And then it's well, let me you know I need some time to work on this. You, and the thing is, you don't have time to work on it because if you was with the wrong guy and you realized it was wrong, and then you want to go to the right guy. And you treat them wrong, that's just who you are, you know? Because you wind up going to this back and forth pattern that you you backwards. And guys have been through that. Um on top of that, there there's a there's a bit of hypocrisy. Because People don't want to say this, but like I, I might come across as, as a nice and polite guy. So when I talk to women, some women think I'm nice and polite and I'm, I'm going to run over them. And I'm like, all right, whatever, sure, do whatever you want to do. And they, they think, you know, oh, he's just, he just too nice. He, he going to let me get away with everything. He ain't a real man. And lo and behold, I'm just sitting there, you know, you could be nice and give a person enough rope to hang themselves. You know, I might kick away the chair and walk off like, eh, you know, but that's my personality. And what winds up happening is these people find this out with nice, with nicer guys, and then the guys just walk away and they're like, well, you ain't gonna cuss me out? You're not gonna argue with me? You're not gonna call me a trifling bitch? No, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, bye. <laughs> and then it's like, wait, this didn't work out the way I thought. That ain't my problem. So, because of that, you don't take people back because, you know, people are still playing games. That's what I'm getting at, is, you know, one of the reasons why we don't take people back is because of the games. Like, they call it shit tests. Like, when people like testing you for no reason, that's why men don't take you. That's why you don't take her back. Because she wants to get back in a relationship and play a game that people don't realize when you hit a certain age, the games don't exist. Motherfucker could see you playing games and know you playing a game and you think that they're um, not hip to the games you're playing or they slow. No, they look at you like you fucking retarded. I'm like, really? You really came up with this dumbass plan to play this stupid ass game as if it meant something. You play by your damn self. And another reason, you know, why you don't take her back is because here's the thing. If you say I've grown 
And I want to be at the most somebody's wife. And then because you say you've grown and you are a different person, when you get back with this person, you still do not exhibit any new qualities? Then they automatically know what you're saying is you're not wife material, but they're husband material, so you want to marry them because you'll be comfortable and secure. And I know women will be like, well, aren't we supposed to be comfortable and secure? Aren't we supposed to be treated like queens? Well, here's the thing. Who told you you was entitled to being comfortable and secure off of somebody else, knowing good and hell well you're not going to reciprocate? You see, even, even, your, even your own flesh and blood kids got to grow up and get the hell on. So don't, don't exp- so when you grown, you don't grow to be, to, to a point to say, I'm going to be with somebody and they're going to love me and care about me and do all these things for me. And I'm just going to just be there and, and enjoy the spoils of doing nothing for no one. Because a lot of people take people for granted. And when you take people for granted, you don't miss them until they're gone. And when you miss them when they're gone and then you reach out to them, and then you're like, man, I, I, I would do this completely differently if I had another chance. Before I go, I'm going to say this. That's not a believable thing because, like I said before, if you treat the wrong guy right, that's not a representation of the guy. That's a, rep- a representation of you. That's what you um, revere. And if you treat the right guy wrong, that's not a representation of the guy. That's a rep- representation of you. And that's what you disrespect. So there's no reason to take you back because that's your moral compass. I'm out.